Wake <laughs> up! Go <laughs> live! Wow, Ed. Are you... Uh, I was trying to get us to be more modern, you know. Oh, cool. Dubstep. Uh, oh, dubstep? Well, do. Oh, my name is Lin Yuan and my co-host is... Edward Thomas. Welcome, Edward. And we have studio audience. Yes. yes. Woo! Woo! There you go. Yes. <laughs> you see, I could do two voices at the same time. Wow. I'm like a ventriloquist. Yeah, what? A ventriloquist, you know? Like yeah, with a, the stomach. Yeah, and like book toddler. It's really weird because in Swedish it's called stomach talking. Yeah. Which I thought was someone going like this. Well, with but your in stomach. German it's also stomach talking. Really? And what's in English? A ventriloquist. <laughs> okay. Because, you know, of course, that's a much easier word to say <laughs> than, than stomach, stomach talking. <laughs> How are you, are you stomach talking? Oh, wow. You must be from Europe. European so, stomach talk. <laughs> so, Ed... Today, you were preaching again, unfortunately. I preach, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> Girl, if you had been on there for the sermon, you would have been saved all over again. Mm-hmm. Oh, but I was, I was preaching my own crowd. I know. Much harder to please. Oh, that's true. Because mm. they told me. Sunday school. They told me. I was at Sunday school last week, and they said, you know, it's not like real Sunday school. It's fake Sunday. I'm like, fake Sunday school? Did you say fake no, Sunday school? No, they said that. About our Sunday school? About About teaching. your, yeah, about, about your teaching. Sunday. I'm like, it's not They're like, no, it's not like real Sunday school. I'm like, what? <laughs> we sang, we played, I showed video, we talked about Jesus. I mean, I did it all. And why Why did they say it was not real Sunday school? I don't, know, I don't know what kind of voodoo things you guys do in Sunday school. <laughs> like they you don't se- sacrifice the chicken at Sunday school. I'm like, uh, <laughs> You're not serious that. enough, Ed. That's why. Our, ki- our kids are, uh, are trained. <laughs> Tra- Suddenly dog biscuits. Okay. Now, what's the first book of the Bible? We're, we're Genesis. <laughs> Here's a dog biscuit. So. Yeah, good idea. Oh, well, it could be. Conditioning. <laughs> Pavlov. I mean, it works for Pavlov, so yeah. you can... Get a kiss to drool every time they hear a book of Bible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ed, what were we talking okay, about today? Sorry. I don't know. How we got off track again. I have to be the voice of reason here in my own you shy were, kind You of way. said that you were preaching about uh, we're, so the Israelites complaining. Yes, we're doing a series about the children of is- Israel, which is actually not just Hebrews, but it's also Gentiles and Hebrews together. Who are just hanging the out. of Israel who are like... We want to join God. And God's like, okay, come to Mount Sinai. You can get my law. And they're like, like okay. we don't like it. <laughs> no. no. beginning, like, everything you say, God, we're going to do. And God knew already. He's like, you liars. I'm going to test you. <laughs> it's like, oh. And then all they do is like, oh, God. Oh, God. We got to go play. <laughs> it was like, better to be a slave. Exactly. At least we would have died there. Now we die here. Like, and that's, uh. and that's a, well, that was part of the sermon today was to talk about how people complain like it takes one person to complain and what they do is that you complain to someone else who complains to someone else and so it becomes a whole bunch of people complaining (laughs) i talked about like the complaining people in leadership and i'm like i'm not moses what are they complaining leader people leadership no that because as a leader yeah people always complain to you yeah yeah because you're responsible every week and you should take us you should put your foot down you should make them down. I'm like you know what I do not own people my name is not Pharaoh I do not own people they want the Pharaoh I know they want Pharaoh yeah they don't want me to be Pharaoh though because I I knock off heads you don't no one no one thinks you knock off heads because you never do I knock off heads every week that's why I don't come back where that's where? the people who disappear from the church <laughs> they never come back no like, and it was too hard on me I didn't think I haven't like heard that. anyone yeah People you are afraid have. of me when I walk in the room. Like, oh, Pastor Edwards here! <laughs> shake, shake, shake him with your boots. Yeah, that was a daydream. <laughs> I know. Then I, then I woke up and they were all laughing at me. <laughs> okay, so, so people anyways, should yeah. not complain ever. So we were talking about complaining, and we we're talking about the fact that people, that God had given them all these miracles, and they still like they're all jacked up. I mean, come on, ten plagues, the Red Sea. Rescue for the most powerfulest nation in the whole wide world at that time. Egypt is decimated. They get over to the other side. Three days later, complaining. I want this place. You're just trying to kill us. They were hungry. (laughs) No, but like. And thirsty. Before they get to the Red Sea, they're already complaining. You know, it would be better for us to be in Egypt. We told you. This is what we told you. Leave us alone. Leave us in our slavery. Leave us in our bondage. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. And when I read that. They could have stayed. No one forced them to go. Yeah, oh, that was really, I sh- wow. You know, I never thought about that. It's true. No one forced them to go. The Egypt said, like, okay, here, you get stuff. Go. Look at that, Mikil. I'm standing in the face of a greater theologian than myself. <laughs> I didn't even think it was possible. 
That's someone can have See? more insight than me. See, I'm, Sunday school. I know. I guess Sunday that's, school teachers. That's why. That's why the kids were saying it's not real Sunday school. Because exactly. <laughs> like, my mama know more than you. You just a pastor. She a Sunday school teacher. <laughs> <laughs> So actually, we the A team and you guys the B team. <laughs> oh wow! But I told you, my audience is harder to please. Obviously not. Because they, they they lose they lose interest within minutes. <laughs> right, exactly. Well, that one does too, but they're just too polite to show it. <laughs> they paint eyes on their uh, on their eyebrows, so when they go to sleep, it looks like they're still <laughs> looking at me, but they're actually sleeping. In our church, we don't know what speaking in tongues is. So as soon as somebody's like, <laughs> like, oh, wait, I think it's a word coming from God. <laughs> Someone translate. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing against people who speak in tongues, though. No, no, speak in tongues as much as you want. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> hey, yesterday we talked about that in Women's Fellowship, by the way. What, about speaking in tongues? Yeah. Why, there's some people want to speak in tongues? Yeah. In Fellowship. Yeah, yeah, they want to. They want okay. to. And then they're like, no, so but, but you're teaching. I because you wait, wait wait they they said this they said this they said oh they feel like the spirit they want to la, la, la. they're like but they want to respect your teaching because you taught about speaking in tongues during the service that it has to be translated blah, blah blah but they and I said but he never talked about you speaking in tongues in your row by yourself yeah. for whatever reason you want to do that the but they still feel like yeah but no one else is doing it I'm like just do it okay and that's the thing. So but I they were not complaining. People, yeah, that's complaining. <laughs> it's time for me to take out my glove and slap them. Okay, <laughs> but, but it's but I think that's people under, misunderstand my teaching. The whole teaching on on speaking in tongues. Now we're on another subject. Is that <laughs> is that they uh, is that they shouldn't disturb the service by speaking out loud. Yeah, yeah. But if you're just sitting there praying, you could pray in tongues all quiet, like ba 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 ba. You know. <laughs> but it's when you go ba 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 and you're speaking loudly. I'm like, oh, what was that? <laughs> God, please give interpretation. Anybody interpret that? And, was, and the whole thing, how do we even know if they're really interpreting? If someone's just going, The Lord says. And I'm like, and then they start saying, And God said, I'm like, what? There is no syntax in that, in that, in that tongue. I don't know if I could trust that. You know? Well, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, but about complaining. Okay, anyway. Get back to complaining. <laughs> we so complain all the time. Here's these people, and and the problem is that they complain before they went to the Red Sea. They complain Three all the time. Later, later, after the Red Sea, they complain. Then they start walking. Oh, he's so hungry. God, he's <laughs> probably gonna die. And then they start <laughs> complaining again. And then a couple of times, a few weeks later, um, today we're at uh, Rafedim, and the people are there, and it's another water problem because there's no water. <laughs> yeah. You, you let us die. And the Bible says they complain to Moses, and Moses goes and cries out to God. He's like, like "Please, God, kill me now!" Like, you know, Moses is like, and I can just hear like Moses going like, "God, hello, Yahweh, um, those people that you've given your, me, your the people, flock that you saved. I didn't save them. You saved them. <laughs> people getting on my nerves. And I, I mean, and and one, I mean." Some of them elders, oh my gosh. Some of them elders. I'm about to take the stick and beat them over the head with it. They're going to get some Red Sea coming off but their don't head you, in a few minutes. But, <laughs> but what is the problem with the complaining? Because they had a real need. But was it the way they expressed it or the lack of faith or what was Okay. I mean, they wanted water they for wanted good water, reason. And they were thirsty. Yeah. But if you already had a water incident. So they had two water incidents. Mm-hmm. Not three. The now becomes blood. Then it changes back. Mm-hmm. They get to the Red Sea. God makes the Red Sea part. Yeah. Number two. Number three. Three days later, they get over to the uh, Marta, to the place where the water is bitter. And God says, throw this log or tree or piece of wood. We don't know which yeah. one it is because it's Put the same it word in. in Hebrew. Yeah. Throws the wood into the water. And all of a sudden, they could drink it. It's like, oh, this is great water. <laughs> then they get a little bit further away. And then they find these 12 wells. And they can drink and everything. Mm-hmm. I'm like, so here we are to another water problem. <laughs> Why? Like, but did in, they complain last time? Yeah, they complain every. No, they complain every single time. Before that, these happened. are the people. Like, as soon as something bad happens, as soon as not even bad, as soon as there's like resistance, as soon as it's like, oh, it's hard. Oh, it's going to require faith in me. Wine, 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 wine. Complain, complain, complain. Yeah, but that's how they condition because God. How they're God, conditioned? Yeah, how they condition. So they complain and they get what they want, or they complain, so they get God what they want. So God is their Pavlov's dog. Yeah. They got conditioned. He's like, 
<laughs> you complain, I give you what you want. Yeah. You don't complain, I'm like, yeah, wait till you complain. Yeah. Then I know you really want it. Yeah. <laughs> so God somehow conditioned those people to complain. This is why Lynn is not the pastor of our church. <laughs> 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 yeah, the reason your back is broken is going to get up. God just made it happen, you know. No, God didn't make it happen. He wants to see you complain. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't say that. Yes, you did. So what you, yeah. So why did they complain then? They complain because they have a, a lack of trust. They honestly, because yeah, they're lack complaining, of faith. they're not just saying, oh, I'm really hungry. I wish we had something to eat. That would yeah. be expressing a need. Yeah. But in their complaining, they're always accusing God of wanting to kill them. Wanting to kill them. Every single time. Why did you bring us here? Oh, so God brought us out here so we can die of thirst. God brought us out here so we can die of hunger. God brought us out here so we can just die. I'm like, wow. Bitter. Wow. God bitter, is not- bitter, bitter, bitter. <laughs> so uh, so I, I think that's one of the the lessons from this from today's preaching was this whole thing about about building up a relationship with God. Uh, <laughs> so don't experience. nag him. <laughs> no, like an experience. So I mean, if you think about it, it within a court I mean a court <laughs> period of time, within a short period of time. They 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 were exposed to God constantly providing for them, saving them, rescuing them, giving them what they couldn't get themselves. Yeah, you would think that at some point, I mean, they learned to trust. Times, yeah. By the third or fourth time, you would think, "Whoa, oh, okay," but no, they're not there. And I and I reflected that this is probably a lot, uh, 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 a like a lot like what we are. Yeah, when you tell me like I'm like I'm like that. I know. God, God has helped me so many times in so many different situations in so many and ways. And no, I'm not complaining, but I'm still like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm still concerned and worried. Like we talked in home group about yeah, like yeah. being worried. Like yeah, why yeah. you have to be worried for? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Okay. <are> what? <laughs> What's wrong with you, Ed? Nothing. Sorry, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Smack. Oh, ouch. Oh, I did hit my head. Oh. Yesterday, Women's Fellowship, we also talked about spanking, but that's another topic. Mm. <laughs> Maybe I need to go to Women's Fellowship. <laughs> Get those spanking. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, so I heard you guys want to spank somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I know some people that need spanking. Okay. A lot of people in Sweden need spanking. Oh, a lot of people in our church need spanking. Mm. They need slapping and spanking. Especially the men. What? Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Our men Their mamas so... haven't been spanking them hard enough. No, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so why, as your pastor, why don't you spank? Spank them. Because it's illegal in Sweden. Otherwise, I would be caning people every single week. It's not illegal. We'd have, yeah. To, no. To spank is illegal. But you're spanking adults. You don't spank kids. It's still illegal. It's illegal to spank someone. What? No. Yeah. But yeah. if they say they enjoy it, it's consensual. Huh? huh? Have you ever thought about that? <laughs> His face. Mm. I'm just trying to imagine, like hmm. you're like the Lord nope. s- says. Like. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord says. Okay, let's go back to complain. Do you? But do you ever complain? Every single day. That's why this sermon was so so poignant. It was like directed <laughs> right at my heart. Like really. Okay. Oh my gosh, Lynn. Do, you but know do me. you complain to other people or to God or both? No. Okay. So here I am. I, Confess. So, something, something, some challenge shows up. I'm walking down the street. I'll just scream. Why me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, God, what's going on here, man? On the bus, wherever I'm at, it doesn't matter. I just. I have out. a friend. He's so dramatic. Oh yeah. my gosh. He is. When things happen, he's like, Oh, what's God doing this to me? Well, I, I try to be faithful to him. Oh, I've oh done everything he asked me. Why is he not giving me done everything. I'm like, Dude. If he did everything, he would be a dear Coleman. He would be what? He would be a dear Coleman. Dear Coleman. If he did yeah. everything. But I just like, <sighs> I always tell him, Why are you always so dramatic? <laughs> I don't know. It must be something in the breast milk. <laughs> he's a grown man. I hope he's not consuming well, breast milk. It's like, dude. Look at his fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Donators. It's like, Probably from you, Ed. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, that would be so weird if you're like, <laughs> you're so, every Wednesday, <laughs> get a couple more glasses. But you know, I'm according to <laughs> according to the new culture... Not only women can produce breast milk, there are also trans men yeah. who can do breast milk. Okay. No. no. Yes. No. Yes. Don't. Oh, you're not woke enough. 
Today at Fika, a parent told me I'm not woke enough for my kids. <laughs> wow. That was not wow. a complaint, more like an obs- observation. I'm like, or no, a I'm complaint. not. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you deal with when people complain to you? Well, you I, like I told her the congregation, I'm like, listen, if I don't eat enough, like now I'm hungry, and uh, and if I don't sleep enough, then what happens is you start complaining. And if someone's complained before, so this is just a repetition. You might just, you might just get the bad side of it. What's the bad side of it? Oh my gosh, big slap. I've never seen you slap anyone for any reason. Just wait. It's coming. <laughs> okay. Now you now you're both tired. Your, wait, don't hold your breath. <laughs> now you now you're both tired, tired and, hungry. and hungry. Okay, let's complain. Uh okay. Mika, we have to put complain. No, don't do that cuz I'm I'm going uh, to What I'm can we complain you. about? Oh, oh, stop it already. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> have we come up with It's like, uh, yeah, what you always come late for? <laughs> that's not a complaint. That's an observation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why is the text uh, in the in the Sunday service always coming late and never comes when That's you have it? That's not my fault. That's someone else's. No, that you are the leader of the church. You should take uh, care of this. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> why is the service always so long? <laughs> there you go. And deal with it. Wow. Slap us. Come on. Bring wow. it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> What's was this the best you could do? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was a good one. I don't even know what body part it was. <laughs> wow. Okay. See, and there comes the bad side of me. Something really funny to say, but I won't say it. I, I can't say it. It would just be so bad and so rude. I really want to say it. Oh, I have to pay you back. <laughs> <laughs> you see? No, but I think I think when people start complaining that you know if you get me on the wrong day, I'm I might let you have it. <laughs> I might Ooh. just start using that gift of speaking to speak you out ex- of out of existence. <laughs> but what? So you are standing up there. How mm. how did people respond? Like what were their faces saying? Those who were awake. <laughs> <laughs> those, who, those who are awake. Well, we don't have any woke people in our church. So. We're the church of the unwoke. <laughs> they're they're sleep. The, we're, we're the, the children that yeah. sleep. <laughs> they're sleepwalking. We're just sleepwalkers. Oh my gosh. No, I mean, you know, it, I mean, you handle people differently based on your relationship with them and based on eating and sleeping and all those kind of things, uh, which I don't do very well on a consistent basis. Nowadays. Ever. No. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Someone's tired. I know. Huh? It's been a long day. <laughs> but anyway, so but that was the whole point was that instead of complaining and looking at your problem, yeah, that you need to lift your 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 eyes b- eyes of <laughs> your blick. <laughs> so you your horizon. Your <laughs> yeah, um, your eyes and, and above. see and see God as being the solution for your complaints. Yeah. Against your complaints for your complaints. Yes. Wow. So what do you usually complain about at most? Um, I always complain about things not working out right. Um, According to your plan or to... My or plan. <laughs> my plan is the plan. Okay. <laughs> no, I, but I think something like that, like complaining about... But for example, with your, with your internet today. Red, oh. with your internet. Yeah, I heard you. Yeah. So Sorry. you complained about your internet thing. Have you complained no, to the no, provider? My, no, okay. So so this is the thing. If you look at your problems, <laughs> you can complain about stuff, but you have to sort of get outside of your problem. You have to accept that there is a solution to it. Otherwise, you won't look for it. You won't do anything. You'll just be stuck. And just complain. And complain. <laughs> and complaining, I mean, what complaining does, it sows this seed of a, a lack of trust. Yeah. Because if I'm complaining about someone all the time, then I'm looking at how bad they are, and then I'm just looking for bad things or bad examples. So now you're telling me stop complaining about your husband, yeah? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess if the shoe fits, you know. <laughs> if the shoe fits, wear it. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Okay, Ed, if you have nothing more to say. No, I do, but I can't remember anything I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I think the... How much time do we have left? Just speak. Okay. Just speak. <laughs> uh, no, but I think that... So each and every person in their life in their spiritual journey are going to see resistance, challenges, uphill struggles, all these kind of things are going to happen. 
God never promised to make everything rosy. Never promised nope. to make everything easy. And people become disappointed when they see that, oy, 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 oy. Uh, I'm going to have to go through um, hardship. Stuff. Yeah, hardship or uh, whatever. Um, and then, yeah. And and then if you if you believe that, then you shouldn't be surprised when those kind of things happen. But if you oh. have a faith that told you that only bad things happen to people with lack of faith or people who are bad, then what happens when when struggles happen? When things life just not, it does not always treat you fairly. What happens is your faith can't carry you through that. No. Because you have a faith that's based on only good weather and stuff like that. Okay. Well, thank you, Ed, for your insights. Really? You think so? Yeah. I don't know if I was so insightful today. Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> now she's giving me the look. She's saying, you know, Ed, you were really stupid today. Well, well then. I didn't say that. I didn't you say thought it in my I eyes. Could, your, I, your eyes said it. Your eyes are like a, a Your book. eyes are barely open. How can you see? I don't need to, see, don't need to, <laughs> to read your face. <laughs> okay, everyone. No. Thank you for okay. listening. Thank you for listening. And um, if you find yourself complaining, just stop complaining. Stop looking at the problem. Try to find a see solution. See God as a solution. And if you turn to him, he'll give you a solution. But you got to be willing to follow him and work the solution. Yes. Bam. Bam. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Enjoy your fika because we're enjoying ours. Ta-da. Thank you for listening. If you have any comments or ideas, please send us a message to fikaforlife at mail.com. Fika, F-I-K-A. This was the Fika for Life podcast with Lin Nguyen and Edward Thomas, and we hope to hear you again. <laughs>